Hi, everyone. Oh. Hello. We are the Mad Scientists. Uh, I am Mad Frankie, and this is Violet Igor. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do some experimenting today, and Violet has some things to show us. First of all, she's been playing before. Oh, absolutely. I've, I've been having a blast. Today, I've... And Violet has some things to show us. First of all, she's been playing oh. before. Oh, let me let me let oh, me turn off the I, echo. I yeah. Okay, there we go. I have Whew. been having a blast with texture um paste, rust paste. This I'm just so excited. All these lovely. all these bits on here, the cogs and the let the number and the wings here, these are all bits that I cut on my silhouette machine out of um chipboard. Well actually it's like um a Cracker Jacks or a jam cracker box. All right. But anyway, then I use the rust paste to get this look, this discoloration. Okay. And there's mm -hmm. there's really some nice texture. I mean, it sounds really cool. Then there's this one. Same with this one. These are all bits that I cut out of, of a, a box. Yeah. And then Lovely. use the rust paste on it. And it's just got some really nice texture in there. I don't think you could see it well. Oh, it, I can see it right, yeah. yeah. It just, it's like, ah, grungy. I love it. It's like the only thing that could make it better is if I ran over it with my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tire marks, you know? <laughs> Did you say you wanted to add some more colors to it? Yeah, I think it, it's still kind of bright red and yellow in areas and i want to tone it down a little bit just back it up a little bit to more browns if you look at rust you can it it's amazing the different colors it has right it really is i mean marine rust in particular has um some gorgeous colors it has some quite quite bright reds some um uh, purples and some blues and greens well, but, I was gonna um, say, I now think... that I now that I know what how this stuff is, you know, kind of like how it's made, I have texture paste, I have sand, I have a bag of sand that beautiful texture junkies sent me. Sharon from uh -huh. Texture Junkies sent me a bunch of sand. Yeah. And because we were gonna play together to do stuff like this, but I got impatient. She's been sick with COVID. <laughs> and I got impatient, so I got ahead of it. But anyway. Now I know how to use texture paste, sand, and my acrylic paints. I need some patina. Yeah. Yep. So I want some blue, green, turquoise, and you know, yeah. those sort of colors. So I'll probably try to make my own and see what I yeah. can do with this. Well, you used the, the, the rust set for that, didn't you? So that they also do, same people do a... Um, uh, patina set, I think they call it. Yes. With the uh, new. Uh, uh, yep. And uh, I'm yep. going to get the. Hold on. I'm going to get the. Uh, let me show everybody so they know what I'm talking about. I put heavy black gesso down on the card. Yeah. And, like I said, the card is just a cereal box or a cracker box. So then I purchased. These were on sale on Amazon right now, um, with, I think they're 15 or 20% off. So you get all three oh. of them. That's very good. Yeah, so I had to grab them. And these are the, these are the rust effect paste. Uh-huh. So this is what I use to make this. And they do have a, and it comes in a set, so there's all three jars in the set. But they do, what you said, they do have one that's called the patina effect. Yes. Yeah. So that's got a very thin yellow, um, quite a bright mustardy yellow, but it's a very thin paint. <clears throat> right. And it's got a, um, at least I think it's the one with, oh, or is that the one with the yellow? That may be the one with the yellow. It's got a, a, a light green and a sort of minty Minty green and a sort of turquoisey color, I think. That's, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, I don't know what it's, oh. it's around somewhere. Sorry, were you I, saying? I think that I think you're describing the other set, which yeah. Yeah, 
the patina set. I was trying yeah. to <laughs> trying to remember it. I'm I love this. I'm I'm in heaven. I just feel like it's my birthday or something. Angela says, um, well, before we go any further, let's say how to hello to everyone. So hi Liz, Angela, Lisa, hi Carol. Carol's the magical touch studio. Um yep. so to answer questions, I does anyone know how to mix the color whiskey? Heck no, I don't even know that a color. Whether that's a peat, really peaty whiskey or more of a Highland whiskey. <laughs> no well, idea. And it's then Angela says, have I ever tried Finnebear? Finnebear? No, I have not. I do think, I was going to say, I do think I have some, but um, you know what? I think, I, I'm, I think of something else. I don't think I have any Finnebear waxes, no. I seldom get products like this. I usually make do with what I've got and make my own. So like I said, this is like, it's a birthday present. It's a big birthday yeah. present for me because I seldom buy stuff. I'm, I'm like, you know, I, I go with Fran. If I can figure out how to make it myself, I'll do that. Yeah, the trouble is going with me is not a good idea because you can end up spending quite a bit of money because well, I quite like stuff as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. You do the paint. You, but you're not an enabler. You're just a suggester. A suggester. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got some of the Finna Bear waxes. The thing about those that I don't like is that they are so heavily scented. They really are quite um, cloyingly uh, for me. I mean, I know other people love the scent, but I, I really don't like it much. So what I do with mine is I try to add some uh, terps to it, which is what you do to revive waxes when they get hard and cracked. So, and um, I add some of that to my Finnebear waxes, some of them, and um, I sort of work at it at a distance, you know, sort of try not to yeah, get too I, close. Yeah. I'm not but too after a while. sense either. I, I tend to have uh, allergy problems with scents. I it, almost like yeah. an allergy i wanted to ask you though when you say add terps to it do you mean turpentine yeah it's a short version of ter turpentine okay. in this country just yeah. make sure. okay good to know good oh, to know. Like know. just we always call it terps that's all in yeah. my family i know i've seen you work with the waxes i believe when you did the ufo yeah um, yep. So that really, I was really, you know, I had my nose to the screen when you were making. There are other ones as well. There's Pabeo waxes. I think those are, are less. They're they're definitely not um, highly scented like the Finnebear ones. But I can't remember whether they've got a great deal of um, terp smell to them. They don't really have a great huge smell. But then I started as an oil painter, and um, for that you need terps. So right. I absolutely right. adore the smell of terps. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hi, Darcy. <laughs> All together now. Hello, Darcy. Hello, Darcy. <laughs> oh, well, there's an echo, 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 echo. <laughs> I, all I can say is I love grunge. I I absolutely love grunge. And, you know, I did the uh, uh, the other thing I've been doing is making um, the quilted cards they're journal cards yeah lovely and what i did is i also made some yo-yos if you know what uh fabric yo-yos are well i made some yo-yos and put them on the journal cards with buttons Ooh. so these lovely. are yo-yos and then i made some because i crochet i made some crochet circles and designs to put on so these are just journal cards to go in a, a future journal Whereas I would be putting uh, rusty old bottle caps on mine. <laughs> you put oh, that's these. a good idea. I have a bunch of them. Have yeah. you? Uh, oh wow! Well. But then, yeah. but you know, and I and I focused on this. But when that came in the mail, when the when the paste came in the mail, off I went. I just every, nothing matters except doing this. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's I just that. I just love that. And well, she does not. 
I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't use a well ventilated ventilated room when she does terps. She likes the smell of terps. That's what makes her mad, Frankie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come quickly, Dante. Yeah. Right. I don't want to get some. You, you carry on. I'm going to look for my. I had a load of um sheets of dudo ready. I don't know what I've done with them now. <laughs> So you carry on. Okay, well, I was going to respond to Angela that now you've got me thinking that my it's not my birthday yet, but it feels like it once I got this. So maybe I can like use that and get me some wax too. <laughs> and and you, said, you think they have Crafter's Companion? So I may look there. Woohoo! Thanks for the tip and the idea. Yeah. I mean, I love this. I, it's it's making a mess and if you if you sew something you can stitch it wrong and you have to take it out and start all over with this you can't go wrong you can't you can't mess it up because that's exactly what you want to do and that's my favorite type of project whereas i can bury mistakes or the mistakes are supposed to happen and i love that yeah like this anyway so yeah i, I just I, layer on top yeah, put another layer. I mean, if I didn't like this at all, I would just go over it with the heavy black gesso again and start fresh. And it would just be adding layers and texture and making me happy. Yeah. <laughs> A whole load of uh, black tissue there because I do find that uh, the black tissue gives me some nice results. I've got some deli paper i haven't used deli paper very much oh let me put us on both for a moment okay. there we okay. are so i'm going to do it on the little plate what i'm going to do well i and, need to, uh, i need to say something else if it's okay yeah sure sorry okay don't be sorry it's your channel <laughs> um the other thing is it's it's sharon's fault that i finally jumped in the water to do this. I mean, Fran's been, I've been watching Fran for a long time and just really, really, really wanted to. But I watched Sharon of Texture Junkies do this on in different things on the pieces that she makes and it blows me away. So I've been just dying to start it. So it's her fault. And in case anybody, what cares, Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Time, I will and 4 p.m. Eastern time. I will be live with Sharon on Texture Junkies, just like I am here with Fran. Um, I'll just be, I'll just be more quiet because Sharon's Sharon's got some good stuff going on. You got to see it. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm done. I'm just dropping things on the floor. That's all. Hi. Man. <laughs> Right, well, I've got some. So I've got these new plastic sheets. These, let me get up higher for me. These huge plastic sheets I've got, and um, they're awfully in the way when you're not using them. I keep falling over. Angela says she loves the hairy circle. That's her sea urchin. <laughs> it's 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 originally it was a thistle flower and it had a stem and um it was a photograph of a thistle in silhouette and i just kept it in silhouette and made sure it was completely silhouette and um cut it out as a stencil and then uh, patricia and mariah said oh look an urchin so it's become an urchin <laughs> <laughs> i even gave it a little sort of mouth a, a tube with a mouth but it didn't look totally good so i'm just keeping this one so there we are. I'm um, move my didn't they, didn't they take the, the didn't they take it and and adapt it for them too? Yep, absolutely. Yep. 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 You will see it. You will see what they did with it. If you go to PM Artist Studio Shop, which I should put the link up, um, you'll see the you'll see it there and however they adapted it. Um, yeah, well he went over it and um turned it into a flower, pretty much. With that, that was the um, the hole left by the urchin. So she's used the hole left by the urchin more than she has the actual urchin, you know, because cut it out 
like a hoe. There you go. There's the there's the link for PM Artist Studio. Yeah. And I've definitely got all my stencils now. <laughs> you, you think? <laughs> I think I might have one or two there. Yes. So I'm not going to be using a huge amount of stencils, but this is the one that um that she turned into a flower. You know I what? Just copied you a, a, a screenshot of what she'd done, and um, that's what I ended up with. Take me off the screen so we can see yours bigger, better. Because well, I'm okay. well done. Okay. So I'll have to see what I'm doing. Yeah, so we can see more of you. There we go. Let me uh, turn that up there. So I want to get out some of these because these are some of the p and Artist Studio stamps. Now, this is one of my favourites, this one. I call it the flibby flobby one because when you pull it up, it goes flip, 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 flip. <laughs> I'm just weird. <laughs> and I like this one, which I've just got from uh, Mariah which is the blobs one and here's the blobs one blob oh and that's the urchin with the little mouth part <laughs> oh, should have some more of those and of course you know this one this is that uh, lovely portcullis oops dropped a bit of fluff Hi, Mariah. Uh-oh. Had a little mishap with Popsy. Uh-oh. I hope everybody's okay. Oh. All right. That one. And I like that. X is from Texas. Look at all Look. those yummy, yummy stencils. Well, you were supposed to be prepared. What are you doing here? Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll stop. I'm just looking through my stencils and going, yes, yeah, like that one. Yes, yeah, like this one. Yeah. Okay, I'm stopping. I am kind of prepared, but um, I've just got, well, I'll show you why I'm not totally prepared. I've got one of these. What, what is this? A mask? You're talking about you've got a mask? <laughs> it's a trolley. I know. It's a trolley. I, I was bucket. It's trying to get rid of the mess. So I've got this here. So I've got to get used to where everything is in this. But I do like these buckets at the side. I've got my Stuart Semple paints in there and my brayers in there and this, that, and the other. So let's hope we know what we're doing, more or less. All right. Now, we, have, we have a question here just for you. And I'm going to let you in. Okay. Angela wants to know, where did you get the dragon stencil? What, this one? Oh, well, that. Um, a long time ago, I used to do 3D art and um, 3D modeling. <clears throat> and I made a model of a sea dragon. They're real creatures. They're called Glaucus Atlanticus. And um, I found the, um, the pattern for the texture for the uh, sea dragon. And I turned it into a stencil. So that's now, what that is. Put a piece that's, of glass paper or something under it so we can all see it really nicely. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Lovely. What I was looking for when, when you made me stop was the actual sea dragons because I've got quite a few of those. I don't did know what you've done with them. Did you manage to pull them off, like I said? No. No, I didn't know. No, I was bad. I didn't. Now, what I want to do today is some experiments with some more cell-making experiments. So I'm going to use some of these, but I'm going to start by just using paints. And I've got some different things. I've been watching a few videos. To I don't want to get into pouring, but I do want to get some nice cell marks. So that's what I'm looking at at the moment. <clears throat> so I've got my black tissue, I've got some white, 
I've got some more white tissue here to do. I might cut up some more if I need it. So I'm going to start with the little plates, and I'll put this one away for now. So it's got a nice white background, and you can go, oh, look, white. So where's the best place for it? There. Okay. Right. Lovely. Um, Get the cord away. Mariah, when you said Popsy, I my brain went to little Izzy as in, you know, a little Poppy's Poppy Popsy or whatever. So you are referring to your um to peace husband, I think. And I'm Bye. here and I hope everything is okay. So do I. Yeah. And hi Sharon. Hey. So nice to see you. I hope you're feeling okay. You missed the beginning where I showed off my uh, rusty bits that you. It's your. It, you're the. You're the suggester that got me going on them, recently. Mm. So let's see. I've got this to try. Pouring medium. I do not want to pour, but I'm hoping it will help with cell production that's what i want to do so i know that this makes gorgeous cells anyway <clears throat> this is Stuart Stenkel's black 30 okay fran did you know that i've done paint pores? uh yes i think you did tell me that and you showed me some before didn't you yeah, i've got upstairs i've got canvas that's hanging all over and i've got canvas you, you did a, a string pull of one didn't you Yep, I've done various ways of doing it, and um, it's it's wasted paint. But here's what I've learned: when yeah. you put paint pour, you have to first put down on your canvas if you're using canvas, a canvas, uh, a framed canvas. Okay, so that's your base, and you have to put down a heavy coat of white first. Yeah, and then you put your different colors in your cup or whatever you're using and pour that out onto the white and the white makes the the pour flow the white yeah. gives away, so there's no resist so it just moves so you can move it around built the canvas and everything i've done it various ways um i added the flow trawl which is an extender to help and I really didn't see much difference. I added um, I know other people have added silicone oil like what you use to oil your sewing machine. Oh really? Yes. Well, I've got and some of that. I didn't know that was silicon. Silicon oh. oil. And that is where Many people said, well, I got cells. I got selling because I added the oil. It's a hit or miss. I got selling without it. I got, but I've not tried it with it. It, it, I gave up and got, I got bored with it before I went that, got that deep into it. But on a gel plate, a pour will move differently. A pour is supposed to yeah. you pour it on and it moves outward and around. And a gel plate, it's not going to do that. Yeah, I've got way too much on there, so I'm nicking some for this one. Right. It doesn't mean you won't get the beading and the, the separation, because obviously you're getting it. We've done it in the other one. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. I'd try some uh, pouring medium to see if it made any difference. And I've got a couple of other things to try as well. I I want to I'm, come up with yeah. it. Like I said, I got bored with it before I went too far, and I want to see what you do. Um, okay, Sharon. Um, Mariah has some um, comments. She says, you have to keep in mind that your plate has oil in it, which that will make good it as far as the, not as far as the major movement of like a paint pour. Your yeah. paint is water-based. And oil and water create the crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I, look, at that's just, that's oh, just, that's that uh, 3.0 paint, isn't it? Black paint, isn't it? The one, yeah. That's yep. that one. Of course, I've, I've filled this dang thing up and now I can't find the paints because they're all sort of hidden behind 
Uh oh, uh oh, that land. Now that was me throwing something on the floor because it was in the way. <laughs> and Mariah wants to know if you can take your 3.0. Didn't what? I did. I shook it before. But um, it is a bit more liquid now than it was before I shook it. Oh, yeah. Use black to kill that pink. Good girl. Yeah, I want to kill the pink. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping... Oh, there we are. There's those things. I want a bit of this on it. I'll put it on this other one. And I want a bit of uh, something else. Let's try Violet Dark. Haven't tried that one before. And a little bit of the green. Why not? Mariah says, I think when the 3.0 is new, or each time you use it, to shake it really, really well. Uh-huh. Excuse me, everyone. I made some coffee cookies, and they are so good. So yes. you're sitting there teasing us. Okay, fine. Yes, I'll remember that. Full. I have no manners. I talk with food in my mouth. So that one is sitting and not doing anything at the moment. So what I'm going to do is... Have a look at the back. Well, I've got quite a bit of something going on. Oh, wow. Not exactly selling, but something. And what's going on in this one? Hmm, we've got some cells, some sort. I'm going to now add this, see if it makes a difference. Don't think it is. So now I'm going to try something else and see if that makes a difference. And I'm going to try it on here as well. Right. Now that was um, water and washing up liquid, what you call dish soap. And that was 99.7% alcohol. I'm getting something on this one. Let me try a bit more alcohol then. Let's see what happens. Well, in my case, Anne, it's cookie with coffee in it. Um, Fran, when you when your hands are free, um, show me so they can see all my little good goodies. Oh, I when see what you mean. <laughs> they meant show your hands. Terrible hands. Ooh, that look at that. Coffee cookies. Easy teasy. <laughs> I'm not rubbing it in. I'm, 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 I have reviewed them <laughs> and I'm still reviewing them for, and then I will give you an update on whether they're good or not. And then I could even post the, the link to how to make them. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm reviewing. I'm just pulling that off like that because I just want to see. <laughs> now, I'm going to add something else to this because I, I'm not fond of the pink, so I'm going to add a bit more. But I'm getting a sort of, um, with that, that was um, fiery red. Yes. I bought it because I thought it was a metallic red, but it wasn't. So, and it's our teaser, that one. So that seems to have reacted with the black 3.0 and produced some, some, can you see this? Let me show you. Yeah, you yeah, have to get me off screen because I'm, I'm. Oh, okay. Me. Yeah, make me go away. There you go. Okay, so you're over, yeah. Look at so that. if you if I hold it in the right angle, let me see what I'm looking at. There you go. You can see a sort of purpliness to it can't you a sort of almost as though i've used the blue black iridescent yeah yeah that's interesting let me pick up the hi gail 
Um, what's going on today is Fran was inspired by someone mentioning paint pours and um, selling and wanted to do a little bit more play around and experiments with trying to get a, a, a selling look or a beading look on the gel cup. She was, uh, I think she was called Sober. Olga Sober, I think, I'm not sure. But she was, um, she did an experiment between um, uh, washing up liquid, sorry, dish soap. Yes. And um, alcohol. Yep. And, and sorry, and um, what else was it? Oh, the silicon to compare because silicon was the normal thing you use. Mm -hmm. um, she got massive cells with the silicon. Um, with the <clears throat> dish soap, she got uh, smaller cells, medium-sized cells, but they took a while to appear, and she did blow on them. So I have got something to blow on here. Yeah. I doubt very much if it will have any effect. Because it's um, quite thin, this paint, compared to what you get with a pour. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I'm not sure that's going to do anything at all. I mean, I can pick it up and breathe on it, but yeah, you did that the other night and left lip marks on your. I know. <laughs> don't do that, folks. Please don't. Yeah, do that. Well, <laughs> yeah. not so tasty. Let's see if I can pull that up. This one, I'm going to need a bigger bit of tissue. Um, I don't think I'll use the black, though, because I think that's a... Hang on. <coughs> I've got this piece. Let's try that one. So comments are above, way up here. Let me see. Susan said that um, Patty got some good selling. Patty also used some of her spray dyes and inks, and Mariah says, Yes, that was what I hadn't got. If you add sprays or inks, the crazing will increase. <coughs> sprays oh, or inks. I did have high flow. I wondered if high flow might make a difference because that's thinner paint. So I did think about that. Mariah, I hope he's okay. I mean, I'm sure he's okay or you wouldn't be here, but my goodness, that's enough what? of that. Hello, Janet. Okay, let me see. Not really much in there. No, oh, it's more smears, but some lovely colours still. Mm -hmm. More smears than actual selling. Haven't tried the pouring medium yet, though. Worth a try. <clears throat> Big pieces of white stencil. Uh, stencil. White. Um, well, we're all happy that we're all thinking about them and telling him to just slow down and take it easy. Hey, Janet, I made the coffee cookies. And if you back the stream up a little bit, you'll see me showing everybody. I'm, I'm reviewing them right now to see if they're any good. And <laughs> really, <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not done yet. So I, I can't really say for 100% sure. Oh, that's, that's cool. nice. That's not bad. That's on a piece of um, lining paper that I use as a brayer of material. <coughs> I did, Janet. <laughs> so, um, That's quite nice. Yeah. So you don't have any inks or, or dyes or anything? that you I do, but I didn't get them out. I forgot all about inks. I've got no idea where they are. Probably spend half an hour looking for them. Dan, Dan says, do, you, do the spray inks become permanent when used with acrylic paint? Spray inks? 
Oh, I've got some of those. The eyes ink inks. I've got some of those. Is that those? what Patty used? Is that what you mean? Is that what Patty used? Um, I think she did use some of them, but she did use the ones with the mica in. The um, the ones you were. Uh... Oh, I've got to get that up again. The ones that um, are for calligraphy. That's not bad. It's not exactly selling, but it's rather good. A sort of mottled effect. Can you see that? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like scale. Yeah. Now, Mariah says you could probably use the eye zinc. It probably will stain your plate a bit. I like that. I really like that one. Yeah, I didn't pick up this piece because it's obviously a bit dry there. But there we go. There's one. <clears throat> Let me pop that down. I had some more on there. If I put some, let's try some inks while we got them here. Like Mariah said, keep in mind it won't stay in your plate. It's definitely got some beading, but of course you have to wait for it to dry for the beading to stay there. As soon as you put paper on, it just smears. Smears it, smushes it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maya. Now, Sharon has used ink on her gel plates, and she uses a secret sauce mix. Yeah, I don't have that. Well, I know that the secret Use sauce alcohol, she, was part of it, and hand sanitizer. Yep, and Mariah yep. says brayer them now. Brayer them together. Mix your paint okay. with it. Mix your paint with it, and then bray it. <laughs> the paint on there is all dry, you see, so that's not much good. I think she might put paint on the top, but I could be wrong. Let's put some paint on. Let's put some paint on. Let's put some of the black 3O because I happen to have it in my hand. Mad science today. And we'll put just to be funny a bit of the white as well because then we can have grey. And probably pink because we've got a red on there. Oh, that's that sample, um, sample studio or studio sample white, isn't it? But simple. Mm -hmm. Stuart Semple White 2O and Stuart mm -hmm. Semple Black 3O. I was close. <laughs> wow. I'm getting something. I don't like this where this white makes a nasty mark. Excuse me, but I have to get rid of that. I know other people just leave it, but I can't stand it. That's better. So we've got some huge selling over there. And I'm going to stick this one on. Just a piece of uh, 160, I think, GSM color copy paper. And on that one, what shall I stick on that one? I might just wait for it to dry a bit and put something else on. Well, while we're at it, you told me to remind you that you're supposed to mark the paints and or show them so people can see what yeah. you're doing. Stuart Semple White 2O. White 2O. And this is the Stuart Semple Black 3O. Yeah. And we already had some green gold on there. And we had a bit of this Arteza on there, but I doubt that much of that will remain. And I added uh, this one, which is uh, Morning Mist, I think. And this one, which is Rusty Saffron, I think. The, both the Seth Haptor ones. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me about that, because I, I prefer to be able to say... I might add a bit of the pouring medium on there and see if I can sort of mix that in. See, no, I've already got cells on there. I don't want to. No, no. 
I'll add a bit of this one, I think. Um, transparent yellow iron oxide. Mariah wants to know where did you get your sprays? Where did I get what? Your sprays. Uh, various shops in the UK. Uh, Anywhere I could um, get them online. Sometimes I get them on Amazon. Sometimes it's uh, Amelia's Creative Crafts. I think it is Amelia's. Uh, another one was um, um, View Country Crafts. Sometimes I get them there. This is trying to peel up at the edge. I don't like that. Sorry. Right. I've got something interesting. Yep. Interesting. So I'm like a bit over here. Were, were you thinking of using your stencils on any of those? Yes, eventually. So let's have a go right now. We've got this one that um, P played with, and I copied from the uh, what I could see on the screenshot I took of the one she did, and one of those, and perhaps another one of those. I do want to get out the, the sea dragons. No, I won't yeah, use I another one of those. The sea dragons, me. Did you see her? Show those, Mariah. You need a black sheet underneath them. There you go. The actual sea dragons are quite interesting as well because some of, most of them have different patterns on the only one that doesn't and i don't know what i've done with them beast i'm a beast i'm a beast she says i was supposed to send you that file wasn't i uh sorry huh i have a feeling you've been uh kind of busy mariah especially yeah leaving, so yeah. What, when are you leaving Next week? She said you did a really great job getting that outer part to match what P did with your urchin. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't get it quite accurate, I don't suppose, but oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Speckled urchin. I like it. It's rather good. I think actually. That didn't work very well. Never mind. That won't work very well either. Today is my youngest son's birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. Yep, he's 41. I'll get this dang thing up. Come on, up you get. Come on, that's it. Don't tear it. There we go. I didn't really leave much colour anyway. I don't know why I was fussing. <laughs> but I've got something shiny there. The, 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 the lighter colour. Should have put it onto white, really. But there you go. I'm just as a brush. So that's looking quite good. I'm going to let that dry. Okay. So I'll put that to one side because I want to keep that. And this one, I don't know if I'm going to get anything off it. Susan Dufresne says that Sea Dragon Pencil. I so love the urchin. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. That's gorgeous. Bother. I'm not. Uh, now we're then. Where's my thing? Do you do that on purpose? I'm sorry. It was ripping the paper. <laughs> It has ripped the paper. Oh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use gloss medium. And I'm going to put gloss medium over there you this go. side. Well, I'm then it goes away. I find that this can rescue things. Yeah, we, we saw that the other night when we were playing on yeah. that recorded video. Yeah. 
So in order to capture as much of this as I can as well, a bit more on that side. But it's like a sealant to the rest of it, isn't it? A, a sealant? Yeah, I'm sure. It puts a surface, a gloss surface on top because I picked gloss because quite a lot of the paints I use are glossy. So we don't want to uh, detract from the gloss. And I've found that doing this, when you pick up something that is stuck to the plate using the gloss medium, of course, it's not glossy on the top surface. Right. When right. you pick that bit up. So you have to go over the whole thing with another layer of gloss right. medium. You get a uniform look. Otherwise, you'll have bits and patches where you pick stuff up that are just matte. Okay, Gail. Have a great day. And thank you for stopping in. Um, Mariah says the sprays will soften the paper, and then that happens. That yeah, it's cooked very wet. Exactly. Right. I'm going to use this bigger one now. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but uh, it looks like I am because the other two are now curing. Hopefully, curing nicely. I might have to back out a bit, having using a big one. If I hadn't seen Angela's question, I would have thought that Mariah was starting, was posting the start of a recipe <laughs> for cookies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Carol, thank you for stopping by. Bye. Carol has to go. Gail has to go. That's okay. We appreciate you were here. Might have a go with that one. I like that one. Oh, I like that one. Anything Celtic I like. See, I dropped all of these on the floor, so a lot of them are missing in action. Oh, yeah, there's the other one of those. I did have three of those. And I've got another sea dragon there. And I quite like these, but I don't know if I'm going to use those. I've got a bigger one of that. <clears throat> got some bitsies in here. Including, come on, untangle one of those. And I do like this. I do really like this. It was an insert from uh, two pieces, and uh, I just liked it. Got his leg cord. Thank you. <laughs> and I've got some nice trailer bites. I like the trailer. I like the buggies too. Yeah, I do like the trailer bikes. And I've got these bits, some bits of uh, tomato and some wheels. So so far, except for the Celtic, these are all your designs. Yeah, and um, there was something else. Oh, this one is um, P and M's. Thank you, Mariah. It's P and M's, and this one is P and M's that she gave me. There should be another one. What I'm to know, one? Who knew? Oh, and this is P and M's. This te X is from Texas. I do like that one. So let's put that away. <clears throat> Yes, please tell Seth after that PM Artist Studio sent you. Yeah. Anytime you you make a purchase, well, this is just my personal opinion, but anytime you make a purchase from a recommendation by Mariah or Patricia, 
always tell them that PM makes the videos. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, there we are. That's what's wrong. And there's another Celtic. Mariah says, excuse me, I have a cookie in my mouth. No, not really. Mariah says, she's putting together an envelope for you. Sorry, that's what? She said she's okay. putting an envelope of goodies together for you. Ooh, Ooh is she? That's lovely. Oh, I found that other one. Yeah. Exactly. And there, there's a link to Mariah's shop right there if anyone wants to go check out some of these really cool stencils that Fran is showing. And Fran, yoo-hoo, Fran. Yoo-hoo. Yeah, I'm just picking up some of the stencils. I want um, to use next. That one. This is one of my favorites. That's a PM artist. And that. And that. That's not. That, I like that as well. <laughs> right. Now, let's get rid of that. Mariah says, if anything you want, please message her. Okay, I will do after the stream. There are a couple of things I'm quite interested in. <laughs> I rock. Mm -hmm. Me and Huey Lewis, we rock. Or maybe, maybe I meant Elvis. Yeah, Elvis. I was going to say, who's Huey Lewis? What? Huey Lewis what? News? You don't know who Huey Lewis and the News is? No. Never hired of him. Oh my God. <laughs> it's another world. <laughs> I guess you're in the UK. You don't get everything we get. Nope. Nope. I don't. Now, I'm going to use that and that and that. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? I had it a moment ago. Come back that hi colleen and that that do not really go so well but i do like it so i'm going to use both of those right i think that's it right so let me put those in the area i'm going to be using rather than the area i was thinking about so probably well, going to abate a lot of the area by doing this but there we go and may or may not. He, did, he did um the power of love and he did heart of rock and roll and he did uh um oh my gosh it's possible that ian may know exactly who he is because he's he's more into music than i am yeah my brother I was want a new drug he did i want a new drug it's gonna be bits on here so tough yeah, where's the black? Here we are. We're going to use the black because I do like the black. It does a lot of work. Okay, Mariah's going to go. She's got to go because they want Van to go and get checked out. I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, do that and hopefully good news. Look at that beating. Look at, that's just. That's not lush. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, 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 it's got to be the combo of your the oil on your plate and that paint. Yeah. But it seems to work best with the transparency. Oh, thank you, Angela. Yes, we know Kylie Koo. Um, Angela says, I learned of PM from Kylie Koo, and that's how I got to you, Fran. 
Oh, there we go. From Kylie. A small world. Yeah. I love Kylie Koo's stuff. She's very, um, she's she's good at knowing what she's doing, you know, yep. and she she tells you when she's figured things out. Unlike me, who just sit there and play. <laughs> Why this? You've got a, a bouquet of uh, colors on there. Holy cow. Or two. Really nice. I'm going to get less selling now because I put too much paint on. It seems to be um, that you get less, you get more selling with less paint when you do it on the gel plate seems to be you put a lot of paint on like you would with um doing uh pouring and that that kind of thing and it doesn't work so well well the video we just uploaded the other day was a recording one we did late at night and we were going back and forth was it less paint or more paint less paint more paint and we ended up i think you said i don't know it just works and i like it <laughs> yeah it's pretty much worked out like that yeah So I would say that if anyone else was going to try this, just, yeah, try it. Find out. Let us know. I'm going to use the blob. Post it in like nature. It. If you post it in nature, Fran will see it. Yep. It's the place I go to most. I got to bring that link up so I can post it. There we go. If you are right. not a member of Makers, thank you, Janet. If you are not a member of the Makers group, which is PMR to Studio group, you should go. I'm going to post the link here. You should go okay. over there and answer the simple little questions and become a member. And Fran will see any comments. Mariah will see any comments. And we'll see any comments. I'll see the comments. Janet will see the comments. Who else? Darcy will see the comments. Patricia might. Patricia might. Yeah. Patricia might be busy. Yep. Angela's in there. Now, this is where we got to go in the little bitsies to get the nice pattern. What size gel plate is that? This is a 12 by 14. Okay. It's a biggie biggie. <clears throat> I have to, to tell everyone I apologize if you're hearing any sort of an echo. It seems to be a random issue. And we haven't yeah. figured out where to fix it. No idea where it's coming from. Yep. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. Doesn't seem to be related to having any other um, equipment on. You can have nothing on but the thing that you're using to film, and it doesn't make any difference. And Susan's in there. Susan's in the group. Yes. Hey, Susan. Did you figure out what ATCs were, Angela? Was it you that asked what ATCs were and what you do with them? They're artist trading cards, and they're usually a, cert, a particular size, uh, two and a half inches by three and a quarter inches. They're usually like a, like a, a baseball card. People used to collect baseball cards and trade them, and, and these are like that. They're an artist trading card, and you – decorate and embellish it with your own personal touches and send it off to somebody or not keep it for yourself that's a lot of business sense will say yep i'm gonna end up with a lot of white unless i do this so i'm going to yeah pop this back down again
and then peel up the other side in order to get these pieces off like that one and that one Christine um, and that one and pop that down again as well should get a better print that way and we've still got a little bit of the selling here I do like these I, I don't know why I like the half mandalas I really do I do too Oh, it's not just Christy Newell. If you look her up on YouTube, you have to look for Left Side Art slash Christy Newell. There you go. Yeah, I like those those half uh, Celtic circles there. Yep. Right, now I'm going to cut the other side of this off. Gives me another sheet to play with. Later. I'm going to try some of the purpley colours with these. I don't think that um, idea of the uh, dish soap worked very well. And thank goodness I didn't have to put anything in with the alcohol because I, I could just keep it as my normal alcohol bottle still. That's good. Well, I got something. I got something. <clears throat> wow. I've got some sort of squidginess here and some selling here. Some selling here under this bit. There's some selling under that. Under the big flat ones, this used to be more of the selling. But I've got a little bit under everything, I think. Just about. Some up there. <coughs> I could put more bronze in with that. I like the all of it because I could cut pieces out of that. And put them oh, on yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said, oh, you still have some left on the plate. Yes, I do. So I'm going to add some bronze. I'm going to run out of this. <laughs> <coughs> There's that dang cough. I'm sorry. Slow down, take a deep breath. Do a little zen. What am uh, I going to do? Oh, yes. So this quinacridone Nicolazo gold in the high flow. I'm going to try a bit of that. Okay. What's the first color you put down? Gold or? Bronze. Bronze? Yep. Iridescent bronze, fine. Because that dries so fast and you're letting it sit there, I'm getting anxious. Well, here we go. I'm going to put some of this on. <clears throat> oh, wow. get some traces of the previous stuff as well yeah oh don't mix that up too much that's just beautiful depends what it looks like on the other side really doesn't it yeah it does i guess
the other blob gone? Where's the other blob? Anybody seen the other blob? No, nobody's seen. There it is. There we are. Better. Right. Don't be blobs. <laughs> Just to uh, have a little spin there. Right. I think you're out of room. Huh? I think you're out of room. Yeah, I think I are. I think I are out of room. This is the PM Artist Studio One, the cogs and gears. I like it because it's it's slightly grungy, you know? Like it's been under the sea for a long time and acquired a load of patina that mine didn't have. <clears throat> well, you already know that I like gears and grunge. Yeah, me too. See, mine is a little bit on the fine side, so, yeah. That's good enough. <clears throat> right, let's do it this way this time. This side to pull up these ones, this one, and this one, and this one. Right, and remove these from the brayer off sheet. So we still got some more to brayer off. <clears throat> and let's have a go with Baron. Might help a bit. So we've got some nice marks on these splodges. Rather nice. And on that, that piece as well. Not so much on there. I've got a feeling that one's going to need some extra help. Yeah, that corner. Yeah, this bit. Yep. Hi, Julie. Hi, Devin Rex for art. Let's have a look at the other side. Now I'm going to cut these piece this piece off so that it's easier to manipulate. Okay, Angela. And that thank you for stopping by. Bye. Bye, Angela. Thanks for popping in. Yep, we appreciate it. Susan says, Fran, you are a master at that registration process. Well, all it is is you make sure a bit's still down on the plate, and you, know, yeah, you can't really go all that wrong. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. I'm going to bring the other ones back in a minute. Uh, you can see what that Ignore the red. It's just on the back of the plate, that's all. Right. But that's looking rather interesting. I've got some lovely marks on this one. Yeah. Very nice. They sort of seem to meld from marks on the shape to marks made by the shape, you know, different shapes. That's that's rather cool. 
I like that. Right, we'll put that away to cure. And we'll bring back this one because we've got to put something on it. And what happened to the other one? Where did I... Oh, there it is. It's over there. Okay. So this one, what have we got? Just... I think we need something else to pick that up with. What shall I use? You know what? use. I'm, just, I'm just being mad Igor here, but if you took some clear medium like you've been using to fix the other stuff and just put that down in a white tissue paper, that right there. Yeah, but it, it's not a lot on there. Look at it. It's not a lot on there. So I was thinking of another color. But I like it like that. It's kind of like that piece we pulled the other okay. night. Want. You were right last time. That's what you want. That's what you get. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, where did that bit of tissue go that I just took off? There we are. Right. Sometimes a sprinkle and a little bit is enough. I have seen you take so little and turn it into something really beautiful. So, yeah, that's, that's what I would think. Right. Look, let's have a look at it now that we've got that tissue on there. Oh, yeah. Okay. You were right. <laughs> I just saw it. Oh, like that. You were right. It's like a tree. It's like a tree trunk with all kinds of overhead trees. I mean, it, it has potential. Hmm. Well, there's a funny splodgy mark there, and there's an urchin there. And yeah, well, it's different. <laughs> the yellow is kind of like the tree trunk. That's where oh, look it came down. That, that splodge is part of the uh, urchin outer, the donut shape oh. that uh, I took off the screenshot from P oh. when she uh, when she'd mulched, when she'd um, um, mixed up and, and changed the stencil by cutting it out in a funny way. Now, oh, Julie, that oh, that's how the fossilized look. Okay, now I'm. I'm curious. The fossilized look. I would. Can you be more specific? Have you seen her do it elsewhere? And here's what I was thinking with this one. You know, have you ever seen Mar uh, Mariah when she's putting together a little book, a little journal of her prints and that? Sometimes she'll, well, like last, I think the last collab or whatever, turn it into a, a, a zine or a journal or whatever. She was tearing bits and pieces to add in a hand. And that piece you just just made would be, in my mind, it would be great for, yeah, doing that. Uh-huh. Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm just curious if Julie could elaborate on that fossilized look that she's talking about. And can you do it again? Now, don't you dare put that down and not show me now. Oh. This is the one you had to put, isn't it? Yep. Yep. There you go. Tore up again. Tore again. Just too wet. That's the trouble. Just too wet. Yeah, Mariah said the inks make the paper wet. Yeah, I'm not fond of that idea. Yeah, put put it up higher so we can see it better when you're I'm trying to put this bit first before it gets too bad. Yeah. Okay. Right. We've got uh, some odd crazing from the black here. Which is rather nice. And, and we've got 
the dendrite, dendritic bits here. Yep. Yep. And uh, the rest of it's just weird. I quite like it, but it's weird. Got some funny little sort of bits there. Like, a, like Casper the friendly mm. ghost flying through the sky. So it's intriguing. It's definitely intriguing. Hmm. I, like it. I think I'm going to just take that piece off there and stick it down if I can get it off simply. Uh, well, we're always here to help you and encourage you on your way to work. I've got to be careful here because I do not want to cut the plate. Or your fingers. No, I've just got a bluntish knife. There we go, that's a bit better. Now I shall have to stick that down though because it's not stuck down and neither is this piece that tore. But I can stick them down, no problem. And you probably won't see it there. If you do, I'll just go over it with some some of the colour and just with a fine paintbrush and blend it in. You won't see it. So there we go. There we go. I like there that because it's just odd. I like it because it's it's different. Yes. We've got some reds in here from that um, Arteza, red left over from that. Interesting. I want to have another go. <laughs> I want to um, have another go. Julie, to, to go back to what Julie said, she so that's how you get that fossilized look. She meant on the last print. And do you mean that little short, that little, uh, little that one there, Julie? Or the big one that I pulled before. I thought she meant the little one, but I could be wrong. It's known to happen. What do you mean, this one? Depends what you're using. If you're using something like the a trilobite, then it's going to look a bit like a fossil because you only ever see trilobites as fossils. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'll have to elucidate a bit more. Oh, I don't know if Julie's leaving just yet, but I know she's got to get ready to go to work. Ah. Well, yeah. let's put some more stuff over here. That was right. See what we do. So I'm not going to use the black this time. I'm going to do what I did before. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I'm going to be able to lose that. Mm. Let me get a, a wipe. Okay. I've got some wipes here. Hang on. Oh, no. Unpublic, unlisted. You can pull it back down, Sharon. You can go in there and pull it back down. I would do it, but I'm stuck in here right now. I'm not stuck in here, but I, I'm in here and I can't switch accounts right now. All right. I'm going to pick that stuff up at the side there. Because it's leaking Ooh. everywhere. Oh, on the back of the plate. So you flashed them. Basically, you flashed them, Karen. <laughs> she uploaded a video but and didn't mean to make it go public yet, but it did. She, oh. Oops. There you go. Yeah. So that's what I've done under here. I've got some more flooding here. I was going to say, it's, if it's not real dry yet, usually the baby wipes work better than the tape. Hmm. Exactly, which is why I'm doing it this wow, way. It, it flowed over, didn't it? It absolutely did. That too. That do. Now, what was I going to do? I was going to use the white. I'm just remembering something. Uh huh. 
that uh, we did the other day. I'm going to see if I can get anything close to it. And I'm not going to use any stencils. Okay. The big one, the one with the trilobite. Um, no. Oh, that, the big one. Oh, the one she's. Oh, okay. Yeah. About the fossilized look. That her. That's um, Julie. The trilobites is is uh, one of Fran's own stencils that she drew and cut out. I could have sworn. Devin, I have to apologize to you because I couldn't swore I wrote down your name and I can't find it where I wrote it. So I apologize for not knowing you from offhand. I blame it on COVID. I have COVID brain. And Mariah is back as she sits in the parking lot. Uh huh. What fun. Uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And you guys, I hope you brought water while you sit in the parking lot so you don't get cooked and dehydrated. Yolanda. Yolanda. I knew I knew it. I'm going to write it down. Thank you, Mariah. Oh, yes. Happy anniversary, Sharon and Bill. Happy anniversary. Yep. You have your mango peach tea. Ooh, I like mango peach. Well, then what are you doing over here, Sharon? You've got stuff to do, woman. <laughs> I love it when you put a special down like that. You just bloopy blop and rub and bloopy blop and rub. And it comes yeah. out pretty awesome. Uh, should I let that dry and put something else on the top? The green. I wrote green it. gold. Green gold is good. We like green gold. Yeah, I think I'll let that dry and put green gold on top and pull it with that. Ooh, don't you dare slide down there. So we'll put that out the way and we'll have a look and see if that one's pullable yet. And then maybe the other one. So is it Yolande or Yolande? I'm picking the these ones I can pay. Wait, why not? Okay, well, you can stay for a little while, but then you get your booty out of here and go go do your thing and feel better. And I hope Bill feels better too. Wee! Now I like that. See? That is nice. Okay, you were right again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crow. <laughs> Will you will you hold it up so I can see the detail much more? There you go. That's even better. Oh, I love that. Waving it about in midair. Yeah. Isn't that you've got that little pattern on the I think even that's with me putting it back down in the shape of the more or less in the shape of the original place where it was. The urchin, yeah. The urchin, yes, and the same with the uh Donut as well, because See, otherwise it wouldn't the, have much left. Donut it. To me, has is lost in there. It it got. I mean, I could see something there, but it, it's to me, it's yeah. That piece the right, center. There. right, but that and other area. That other piece is is distracting. It's, it's hard. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. 
Oh, just like it, because it's like it's like looking into the firelight, isn't it? When you've got a a real wood fire, or a coal fire, yeah. and just looking in there and seeing other lands and underground um, volcanoes and things that like um, journey to the center of the earth, you know. Now I know this is on tissue paper, but what P has been doing with the pencils, I can see some pencil work done in here. I could, yeah. I imagine it done here. well you'd probably have to put a layer of uh, gesso on that um this one the clear texture gesso, texture gesso. Yeah. or homemade yeah. gesso which i've got clear gesso uh on top so as to give yourself some stability as well as um uh some tooth <clears throat> and it wouldn't probably wouldn't hurt to put that onto card as well uh I'm just trying to think. So, because if you you're doing too much work with a pencil, you could easily tear tissue. Yes. But putting it on something would be a, a good idea, I think. Oh, guess what I found? I found all my dragons. Oh. Okay. Zoom okay. back up so we can see. And then let me tell you, the uh, uh, Sharon says she thinks that Bill got her a wood lathe. For their anniversary not sure just there's an enormous box out back and he got you a wood lathe oh wow i used to have one of those um let's see so here we have devon rex some... for art says i need to find a plastic sheet or board for my jelly plates i had to steal a glass cutting board from the kitchen <laughs> oh look at that Let's put it on the black. It will be easier to see. There you go. I'll put that to dry. <clears throat> and I did lots of them. So we've got the same design. And we've got a slightly different design. And uh, I think that's the same design as that one. Oh, Sharon can make dibs now. There's no dibs on that second one. Um, I've got, of course, this one as well, which is um, not got any holes in it at all, but uh, so show the difference. Yeah. Wow. I really ought to go and do a bit more work on the patterns because um, these are the same, but these are slightly different, very slightly. I mean, yeah. that one's got a ball there, that one's got three dots. I like them all. I'm not sure. Well, the smaller ones I could see just using dots. Because they have to grow, you know. When they grow, their their dots get bigger. Maybe. <laughs> Devin for Devin Rex for art. Okay. In answer to what you said about getting something to hold your gel plate, I actually went to. I wouldn't say it was safe, but I went to the dollar store and purchased a picture frame larger than my gel plate. And yeah. I, I just left it in the frame. I didn't take the glass out of the frame. I decided to leave it in the frame and use the frame as a way to hold it. And yep. I put the plate on top of that. Now, before we do any more and get interested in the dragons, <coughs> and don't let that fall over, let's go see what this one's doing. Is this one you had to fix too? Is it what? Did you have to fix this one too with the clear gesso mm -hmm. or clear gel? <coughs> nope. Okay. This is the one where I put down the stencils on top of the, uh, the black and other colors yep, that and then lifted one side and pulled the stencils uh, out and put that side back down. Registration. And then did the same with the other side. Yep. Just to get the stencils out so as to get the impression of uh, what happens when you put a stencil on top of paint. Try not to tear it because I'm it's making little teary sounds. 
that slopey sound, huh? Yeah. There we go. Right, I'm going to put this down and take this out of the way so you can see it. <clears throat> I quite like that one a lot. <laughs> now that one has got the uh, bronze, iridescent bronze, fine, goldens. It's got the... Uh, red eye, red eye. It's got some red iron oxide and it's got some transparent yellow iron oxide. I think that's the red. <clears throat> and it's got the black 3.0. I can't remember if I put any of the white on. I don't think I did. I think that's just gaps showing through. That's it, I think. You have to rewind and have a look and let me know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's rather good. I do like the way that the painter sort of done that on the back of these stencils. It's really good. I like that. It, and if I'm not mistaken, Julie would like this one because it has the trilobites off to the side there. That might yep. be the fossilized work she's talking about. Yep. So we've got fossilized um, trilobites, fossilized cogs, fossilized blobs, fossilized yep. sea urchins, and a fossilized keyhole. Yep. <laughs> I call it a keyhole, but because uh, it looked like one once, so it's got stuck with that name now, like a keyhole plate. <clears throat> right, Susan. <laughs> so let's do. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I put it down there. I wonder where I put it. Something on here. And we're going to do it with the sea urchins because I want you to play with the sea urchins. Yes. <laughs> want to play sea urchins. Sharon, so, when you come back, I want, I want you to come back and watch the beginning because I blamed you. I mean, I talked about you at the beginning. <laughs> I'm going to put a bit of the Nicolazo gold on, or the high flow one. That was transparent red iron oxide and a nickel of gold. I put it on me. That red is on the uh, underneath, isn't it? That other that that's not gonna come through. That's just on the plate. That's right. All. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna add some more paints in a minute. Wow. Get this done. I want to get this mixed in quite well because I don't like the way the white about fire. Beat it up. Go ahead. Beat it up. Beat it up. Don't push down so hard. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to have the dark one, which is obviously the daddy. He's the daddy, huh? Must be. It's bigger than the others. Well, that, yeah. At least it says going from fire to sherbet. Yes. Hi, Evie. Fire to sherbet. Well, it looked like streaks of fire till you started brayering it. Ah. I don't know. I like the really small ones have the dots because then they have to grow up and get their holes to bigger. Don't take that anywhere. Forget I said that. Oh, the pattern get bigger. Yes. Put one on the floor. Pick that one up. Hi, Gretchen. You're welcome to you. Is this your first slide? Yay! Hello. So glad you popped in. Gretchen yeah. just became a new member in my group, The Art of Streams. 
Oh, oh exactly. That's too small. Yep. <coughs> that is too small. I can't use that. It's too small. I kind of wish you had some singular uh, cogwheels that you could throw down on there in between, you know? One there. No, that that's too many. I meant a single one, a single one here and there. Oh, one. Oh, two I do many. not have. Yeah, I know Sorry. you. Sorry. No room. <clears throat> to get this round the right way. First time liver. Well, first time liver or liver? Liver. First time liver. Welcome, welcome, veteran. I mean, an operating theater, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> Slap that puppy. How much precision I do not have and never will. Well, usually this is where you work your fingers into the little, little bit so it gets down in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Dan. Let's see what happens. Uh, where's a pair of scissors? That was quite a while back, Devin. Are you caught up? Have you uh, looked to see if you're caught up on the live viewing? I must be. Uh, <laughs> right, Jackson. Uh, Susan DeFray says, I cut one of those strips of gears up. <laughs> Sorry, what, what, what? She said what? That, strip, that strip of gear you have over there, she cut one up. Ah, right. Well, that's the only one I've got, you see. So Now, I can't remember whether, whether Mariah gave me the file on that. She probably did. I, I might be able to cut another one. Yes, pull the time slider. <laughs> yes, I couldn't think of the word. Thank you, Mariah. Lovely. No, she she's just cutting the excess paper that's off to the side of the plate. Yeah, because I used a full sheet, you see, and it's easier to cut it off than to try and cope with it still in a, the whole piece. Your land, your land, your land. Okay, your land. Thank you. I'm going to put some green on here before I put it back down again. Now it's probably going to smudge, but tough. Okay. I'm just going to do it anyway. And I'm going to put this back down. And pick this side up and do the same thing. Yeah, she, these are her sea dragons. And I love, Fran has gotten so good at doing registrations. Don't say things like that. You know, it'll only go terribly, terribly wrong. Yeah, well, it's going to happen anyway, so whatever. You are good at it a lot. I mean, you've gotten the hang of which way to pull, and you're still a bit heavy with paint sometimes, but eh. Yeah, very, very much so. I'm going to have to pull that a bit further, get it to meld a bit better with that. Wow. Yeah, neither one of us take a compliment while well, Susan. Unless we give it to ourselves, and then you know we mean it. 
We might it it might not be so, but we mean it. <laughs> it she is a bit heavy with the paint sometimes, Mariah. Um, and she knows, yeah. but it's just it's a I can't help it. Exactly. You, you just get to doing it and you don't stop and think sometimes. You're on a roll. Right, that's for a bit. I'm gonna bring back that other one that we were gonna oh do another bit. Oh, you had to take it away and put it over there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Now then, this should be nice and ooh, glassy dry. Good, good, good. So that one, what am I going to do with that? I want some. Uh... Ooh, you froze a little bit. Good, Sienna. I hope that was just me. And I oh, I'm sorry. Oh. If I come back. What paper? What paper? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Um, I might use a, a decent piece of card, actually. What was the paper on the last one that you put away? Uh, I don't know. Which was one? Oh, that one. That was tissue. That was only tissue, that. Was that what strength? It helped. Yep. The wet strength white, yep. Okay. Open the Yeah, it helps bottom. open it. Yep. And I want a bit more of this. I want some bronze. Probably way too much, yes, I know. Sorry. And yet it all turns out somehow you do it. Well, I'm going to rescue the paint off the roller by putting it on there. <laughs> yes, there is way too much paint. See, I've forgotten all about selling now. I'm just going, way. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you put colors together, and I'm like, where do you get your... So there's some selling on the little one. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Some of it's selling, and some of it's the um, uh, stencils. So we'll see what happens with that. That may be selling. That may just fade away. I could use trilobites on top of that. Now, this one, I want to put a decent bit of paper on. Right, Gretchen? I don't know where she gets her, her color choice ideas from. Her vision is just this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take this one. Okay, I'll take that one. <laughs> okay, I'll throw that. <laughs> it, it's the, the closest. You get conscious the closest how long <laughs> when, I, when I'm doing a live, I do get quite conscious of how long things are taking, especially when I've been dibbing about for a while trying to find stencils. I yeah. get worry about that quite you a lot. Get a bit anxious and you don't want to make anybody bored or Yeah, so I don't want to hang about with things, so I just grab another colour and let's see what happens. You know. Now let's have a look. That could be quite interesting because the where it looks like it's going through the design is actually where the the bronze is because there's quite a bit of the bronze showing through there. Sometimes it's the um, burnt sienna, sometimes it's the uh, the red iron oxide, sometimes it's the nicolazo gold, sometimes it's the bronze. Uh, quite a bit of the bronze. There's nicolazo gold there doing its job. I like that. I do like that. We'll see what happens with that. Evie right. says, well, and, and well, Evie says, and Liz agrees. Evie says, I love the trilobites. And Liz says, me too, Evie. She needs to sell those. Um, and you know, Angela loves your urchin. Yes. Exactly. Yes. I might do something about that. But um, it won't be for this rest of this month. No, you're, you've got um, a few coming up and things to deal with because of that yeah 
Let me. So if Angela, I think Angela had to go, but if she gets to come back and watch, um, we have it in mind. We know you love the sea urchin. It's just that right now, Fran, um, France committed to. I've got with, a lot of other things yeah, on my personal issues. Yeah. 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 Too much else to think about. So, mm -hmm. Boy, uh, it's something I need to get down to and do properly. You know, so um, that's going to be quite interesting. I think I'll probably put. Um, I might put some Payne's Gray over that one. Remind me, I thought of putting Payne's Gray over that. Okay. And you know, I think we talked about it. I don't, I thought we talked about it. I don't remember if we resolved the issue that for anyone in the United States that you wanted to um, sell or whatever you were going to do, um, you know, I will help you with that. Yeah. You yeah. Could pass but I don't want to put any kind of burden on you or anything. No, so I'm, we're, I'm, we're I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm okay. Um, you just, we already talked about it. You send me the files and it, um, I can post from here. Yeah. Okay. Instead of overseas. So not right now. You got, but we'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I want to see this one. So let's see if we've got anything here. We haven't got the edges. But I think so far so good. And this is just tissue paper, the wet strength tissue paper, right? Yep, it is. Yep, that's what it is. Wet strength tissue paper. There's quite a lot of paint on there. Wow. That is old. No, it's not, Fran. You know what that is? That makes, when you take when you and I go outside for a walk. Yeah. You show me the flowers and the plants and the and the back garden. Um, it's exactly where my mind goes. <laughs> Have I got anything left on that plate? I like it. I've got some things, but it's mostly just little bits of dent dentritic patterning. I mean, that's the, a sea dragon there, but you can barely see it. Yes, I would have been better on the black tissue, perhaps. I wonder, now, yeah. Black paper. Can you... That, uh, Turn the turn the tissue paper over. I want to see the back side. I don't think I'm gonna see it, but I wanna see it anyway. Can you see that? I can see the suddenly see the sea dragons looking at it through that. That's what I wanted to see. No. Oh. Yeah, lay it down. They're in down. green color. They're in because they're on the top surface. Yep. So what you to do would be to build up the surface here build up build up build up so you've got good surface and uh let it all dry thoroughly and then eventually you would come back and you'd wet this side mind you it's wet strength so it might not work it would work with a black tissue and then you could rub it off and just have the um acrylic sheet and then you'd see them interesting go we, we can have another go with them and okay. this time so i can't get them to show through yeah, yeah. interesting yeah. Well, and that's what i had to see that because when you flipped it when you flipped it, it was all on the plate and you flipped it over i saw them quite well but, yeah but i mean it's the sort of thing like if you want to make a lantern put this there as the lantern and um Put then, a light inside, and then you're going to see the dragons. Yeah, they're magic dragons, obviously. Lisa, Lisa has a suggestion. She says I can see that with teal added. Yes. Yes, I, I was thinking about teal at the time, <coughs> but I didn't go that route. Never yep. mind. We I um. With teal. Teal. Which is what we're about. 
I think the black paper too is a nice idea. Yeah, I might have a go with that actually on the next one. So you put down the you put down the fire. The the red and the sorry? You put down the fire colors. Yeah. And then your stencil. <coughs> and then you slap them around. <coughs> yes, keep going. And then you pull that tissue paper up and stencils up and put another sheet of tissue paper down and that was your pull, right? No. I put the same sheet of tissue paper down. Oh, oh, you did registration. Okay. Yeah. I just, I did the registration bit. Don't you remember? I put all that green on. Okay. I'm with, I'm with Susan though. Um, she brought up or paints gray. What was it you wanted to put the paints gray on? <coughs> uh, where's the paints gray one? <coughs> now you've got to pop it. <laughs> This one, this one is for paint spray, but it is not dry yet, so it's going to have to wait. I'm sorry. Okay. It is not dry. No any. Just keeping it in my mind. Uh -huh. So, uh, <clears throat> let's put some black down. A lot of times, you guys, Fran and I will have a play date late in the evening, or even after, after we do a live like this, we'll go off and do our potty breaks now everything and come back and we'll have a private play date and then I edit because we end up having too much conversation about what are we going to do next and which way are we going to yeah. go oh, and, yeah. and, and we don't want to bore anybody so I edit all that out and the, and the silly chatter <laughs> y'all are lucky to hear it all <clears throat> Oh, I, I had a feeling, Yolanda, I had a feeling we were way behind. I'm glad you're caught up now. Good. I mean, it, it will be, it will be a, a half not so, well, we're not very good at talking about anybody else. We're pretty focused on what we're doing and, and uh, playing catch up with each other. We don't, I don't think we know too much about anybody else. Definitely don't talk politics. <laughs> no. I know you are. I was, yeah, I was joking back with you. I don't know enough about politics nope. <clears throat> to say anything. To say anything. No, not a thing. You'll see if you go watch the last recorded video, which is the one, it's a, uh, um, the one prior to this that kind of inspired Fran to do this today, it was called, it had beating in the title. Can't remember the title, but anyway, there's a point where she's pulling a print and she knows I want to see them. And she pulled a little bit and then slapped it back down. Did she? Did she? <laughs> I did, did I? And I'm naughty. Yes, yeah, she's, she's a little bit stinker about it sometimes. <clears throat> with me. And those are the things you get to see that I leave in. Or me whining because she's got to pick it up and put it over there to let it set and dry be, and wait. And I'm ready to see it now. Or you'll hear me whining. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> she's a whiny girl. I'm a whiny girl. I just love those sea dragons. Yeah, I agree, Lisa. The, the black paint with these sea dragons and, and if to use whatever color is on the sea dragons right now, if you use that color with the next layer, that would have been cool. I think that's just a mix of the fire color from that last pull. What was that? Red and white. It was uh, <clears throat> quinacridone, nicolazo gold, uh, red iron oxide, and the green. I put the green over on the last 
I don't remember uh, seeing the green on that. It was, yeah, it, because that's, it was buried. <laughs> oh, because it looked like it was, it was all the tissue. Yeah, it was the, it the, yeah, it it was like the area plate. on the top of the plate closest to the tissue, not the layer at the bottom that you're going to oh. see. I just called it fire. I do like the fiery, rusty colours. So let's let's cut that bit off. So make it easier to move. Do I tease with my wife? Well, I live in Wisconsin. We tease with everything. We are the cheese capital of the country. That's really cool. Are you going to use the uh, um, teal? I uh, don't think so. don't think so. I was thinking of using the fiery colors again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking. Okay. Well, I've got to drive over to a different parking lot. Okay. Cheese. Here's the thing. Everybody thinks cheese is yellow. Cheese is not naturally yellow. That's a coloring. Cheese is white. Cheese is made with milk and it is usually white. The yellow is coloring is added to make it more appetizing. Oh, is that gorgeous? Just like it is. Well, hopefully. Let's see what happens. Oh, I tell her that all the time, Susan. Go light with the paint. She does what she does. Somehow it still comes out lovely. Loverly. <clears throat> a little bit more. Yolan says, your prints are looking wonderful, Fran. I have to get going. Have a great day, everyone. You too, oh, Yolan. Thank you for, for your patience for me butchering your name up. Um, you have a wonderful day, and thank you for coming by. Bye-bye, Yolanda. Oh. Uh, is that right, Yolanda? Yolanda. Yolanda. He says it's like Yolanda. <laughs> And that looks cool, just like it is. Why do you have to pull it? Let's look at the other side and have a look and see what it's going to be like. Yeah, but every time you do that, you don't show us. Look, it's all going to disappear again. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've got some little marks of it in there. Yeah, we'll never know if you don't show them. I'm going to. I'm going to. Give us a chance. <laughs> Just messing with you. <gasps> That's not even the same look, but I like it. I've got a little bit of a sea dragon there. And that's about it. <laughs> what is what is that at the on the right? That splotch of something. What is that? Is that paint? Huh? That, well, huh? yeah. Is that that's paint? Black. That's the black three O. Oh. Okay, Sharon, you go do your wifey stuff. Have a wonderful day, and you and I will be playing together this Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Time, you, you and me. Be there or be free. Can we see? Does it show anything on the other side? Like the other one? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, you didn't cut it when it was on the plate. I see. Yes, let's have a look and see. I don't know, I like it. I don't know. I wish you could see it looking through the light like this. Okay. Now then, if I uh, if I hold that up like that, maybe you'll be able to see then. Okie dokie, Sharon. Uh, I can see more. I, I don't know if I can see what you see. I see. What is it? The word you. The other use? side. Look at the other side. Oh yeah. <laughs> interesting. Very we, interesting. I like the other side. Uh, and we will be live Saturday. I like. I like. Now I like that. But then you turned it over, and I really like that. Is that it's good? Isn't it? Yeah. That is strange. Maybe I should do it the other way around. Put the black on the top. I don't know. Because you can see more of the um, uh, sea urchins. No, it's not sea urchins. Um, sea dragons. Sea dragons. Sea dragons. Right? The other side, yeah. the back side is the best side. Um, if you did it yeah. the other way around, I'm not sure it would have the same effect, but I'd sure no, would it. I think the black has to go on the plate first to do this sort of action. Right, because it's the reaction of the black with the plate, isn't it? So, what have we got down here that we haven't done anything with? So, would, it be, go would, would it be overkill if we did black and the beading, and then um, your mix of colors, whatever your fire or whatever you want, and then yeah. more black? So, two lots of. Would that be overkill? Would that be like useless? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, the trouble is, I'm starting to get a bit tired now. Oh, okay. It is two hours. Now. Yeah, my thinking mechanism has stopped working. <laughs> I'll put that to dry. And we'll have a look at what else we've got around here. Let's see if we've got the thing for the paints gray ready yet. Patty Tolly Parish. Hi, Patty. I think that might just about be ready for the Payne's Gray. Question is, where's the Payne's Gray? Hey, Fran. Yes. Patty Tolly Parish is here. She says, sneaking up. It's all your fault, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all this is your fault. <laughs> If it hadn't been for me seeing that one of yours, I haven't got the inks out yet, even. And I'm right. still going nuts over this. Yep. Julie you, you wants to know can you scan the back into the computer? Uh, oh, yeah, I could, yeah. But yeah. not until it's well dry. Yeah. And Patty says, uh, sneaking a peek from work, can't stay long. What a beautiful print that was. It was pretty good, actually. I'm quite pleased with it. Oh, she says, bah. She says, bah, I'll take the blame, even though I'm not sure why. <laughs> well, that's not blame, really. Wouldn't be having fun otherwise. This is the one you wanted to do the Payne's Gray. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the Payne's Gray. I think I've hidden it down the bottom somewhere. <laughs> Well, I've got an indigo. Indigo might work. I can't find the grey. Well, it here's the must be in there somewhere. It, it's nine o'clock black p.m. your time right now, and you are getting tired. You could actually leave this, and <clears throat> so you find the paints grey because I know that's what you want to use, and yeah. then do it if you want to do a short, and I can post it later. Yes. Yeah. That would be a good idea. That's what I'll do. Right. Yeah, cause I, I don't want to. I thought of Payne's Gray, and so I want to use Payne's Gray. Now, what else? We've got something down here that I haven't pulled yet. Let me have a look to see what that is. Okay. Before we do anything else. Oh, yes. 
Now, this might be ready. Then again, it might not. In which case, we're going to wait a lot. Your camera is a little off, so it needs to be adjusted. Yeah. Oops. Hold on. There you go. There we go. And this oh, I'm like. Last poll. Oh, oh hmm? this is good. Um, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Lee. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Gavin had to leave and that's it. Look at that beautiful pool. Yeah, that's just what I was hoping. It was what it looked like from the other side. And if you tilt it, you can see that that's the bronze. Yeah. The bronze iridescent fine. And as I say, the little bits of the, um, well, it's a combination of uh, burnt sienna. Burnt sienna? Yes, burnt sienna. Um, Nicolazo gold, the burnt sienna and the Nicolazo gold were both fluid acrylics. And um, the bronze is the ordinary golden one, this one. And there was quite a bit of that white 2-0 involved in this, wasn't there? And I yeah. think there was some red, red iron oxide. I, I can't um, remember now if it's Nicolazo gold. The yeah. Um. All kinds of compliments on this one, Fran. It's it's pretty neat, isn't it? And you can see those little tomato slices of mine with the sort of bird yep. in the middle looking nightmare bird. <laughs> okay, Julie, oh. have a good day at work. And so we can you. stop now because my knees are hurting and yep. my you brain seems to have gone on a holiday. So, so um, we will come back and we'll do a, a, a recorded little pull of that smaller plate and and, and I'll see what's there. on the big plate as well because there's there's a load of guff on here. We might get something, yeah, possibly. So you'll see you a, a, a recorded video later, or you will see uh, pictures posted in Makers. And if you're not a, a uh, a fan of makers if you're not in the makers group i'm pretty sure everybody here is i'm going to post the link this one i really ought to put um get the little plate out and put some ink uh, some paint on that and ink up the back back of the sea dragons and print them onto this one because that's another way to bring back something you've lost yeah that's gorgeous. Great. Uh, okay, great. I'm just trying, just wondering what color I ought to do that with if I'm going to do that. I mean, you can see it when you hold it up to the light. You can see where they are. I can anyway. I'm sorry you can't. I mean, <laughs> you'd. Ha I'd have to change the angle of this camera completely, and I just can't do that. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for being Bye -bye. here. I really appreciate you. Let me let me bring you back so you can wave as well. There you go. Bye. Here we go. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh.